Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to explain in detail how you can create the best and most effective build for the backhand plates. This time we are going to be using the deflecting heart tier to get the most out of these fantastic DLC weapons. If we use this build properly, we are going to be dealing a lot of damage no matter the target we have to face. I'm going to be using this setup to defeat every major boss of the DLC without taking a single hit. So let's jump straight into the build. With this one, we are going to use the backhand blades on plus 25 with the Royal Knight Resolve Fashuar on the blood affinity and we need any seal we have available to cast our main buffs. If you want to start the fight with the bleed buffs active you can use any weapon with seppuku but it is completely optional. And to easily dodge the Radan's light explosion attack and the commander Gaius charge attack we can use any weapon with the raptor of the mist ash of war. I'm going to be rocking 3 pieces of the Rakshasa's armor set for a 6% damage boost and we're going to use the white mask that will increase our damage by 10% with each bleed proc. The best talismans we can use for this build are the curved sword talisman, the lord of blood's exultation, the millicent's Prosthesis and the Rodent Wings or Insignia. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic, we are going to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear and the Deflecting Heart Tear. If you don't want to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear, you can also use the Thorny Crack Tear. And against the enemies that are very hard to deflect, such as Veil, you can also replace the Deflecting Heart Tear for the Thorny Crack Tear. If that's the case, you can also replace the Royal Knight's Resolve Ash of War with Crack Blade Ash of War. With this weapon, we are going to be dealing only physical damage, that's why our best body buff is going to be Blood Boil Aromatic. But if you don't like crafting, feel free to use Flame Granny Strength. This build devours stamina, so be sure to craft some pickle turtle legs to boost your stamina regeneration speed. In order to obtain the max performance of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on vigor, 21 on mind, 40 on endurance, 31 on strength, 55 on dexterity, 25 on fate, and 50 on arcane. Golden Vow and Flame Granny Strength are going to be our main buffs. And if you want to proc bleed faster, feel free to use the Swarm of Flies. With the level of arcane we are using, it's going to be a very useful spell. And as you can see, I have my Scatter Blessing on the level 20. And if you want to deal the max amount of damage possible to the hardest DLC bosses, be sure to have it on the level 20 as well. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. Now I'll show you how to buff your character with this build. First you have to use your Flask of Wondrous Physic, then you are going to cast Golden Vow and you are going to use a Pickle Turtle Neck. Just after that, you are going to use your body buff. You can use Flame Grand Strength, but I'm going to be using Blood Boil Aromatic. Now refill your FP your HP and with that you should be ready to go. A deflection is when you block the enemy attack just right before it's about to hit. If you do it early it will count as a block, if you do it later it will hit you. So it's very similar to perform a parry but it's a little bit easier. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to use Royal Knight's Resolve, we are going to deflect 4 enemy attacks and with that we should be dealing 160% more damage with the next guard counter that we will perform. That is exactly how the deflecting heart tier works and why this build is so powerful. So so first you can deflect 2 attacks, then another 2 and then you can perform the guard counter to deal the max amount of damage possible. Just be sure to refresh your Royal Knight's Resolve because it only lasts 10 seconds. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? Come on. It was extremely close dude. Okay. Maybe here? Let's go. Careful. Careful. No! Let's go, baby. Let's go. In this case, those are two attacks. That's more than reliable. Let's go. Finish here. Let's go. Let's go. I'll take it. I'll take it. Of course, I'll take it. We can do it. We have to do it. Let's go. Let's go! Come on, come on, we have to do it.
Let's go! Come on! That's what I'm talking about! Take that. Just get the head out of my face. Let's do this. Nice. Beautiful. Let's go. We are clean now. Very nice. Oh my god, I almost... Let's go, baby! Come on! Oh my god. I get it. Careful. Let's go, let's go. Come on, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my god. Oh, careful there. That one was very dangerous. Oh, here I can... Actually... That's good. Oh, that's nice! He's going down quite fast. Let's go. Let's get him. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Ah, oh, finally! An easy... <laughs> an easy one with this build, bro. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hold on. I have an idea. That's what I'm talking about in guard counter's terms, bro. Come on. Let's go. Dodge it properly. Let's go, baby! Let's go! 